So it's finally here. They just uploaded patch 12.12 .12 and Escape from Tarkov. And with it came one of the most anticipated and also controversial features in the game, uh, which is inertia. So in this video, what I wanted to do was kind of show the before and after. So before it wiped, I grabbed some footage on a fresh account, level one. And then right after it wiped as a level one, before I hopped into some raids, I grabbed some more footage. And what I was able to do is show you kind of a before and after of some movements, some of the popular movements in the game with inertia and without inertia. Now, once again, this is day one. I just want to kind of get like a broad strokes overview of what this is to you guys. We'll have more guides to come, uh, but hopefully this helps you out. Most likely I am live right now. If you're seeing this in the first few days of the wipe, I uh, stream escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say, hey, but with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So we're going to kind of do this like our lessons from beyond the graves kind of where I've got um, a before and after of a bunch of different really common movements. Now, once again, this is just day one, so we're not sure how strength affects these things, and I haven't gone through every single movement, but for people who are really interested in like how this is affecting it, this is like a day one uh, kind of like before and after. So the, the first part of the video, I'm just showing that this is my old account my with where inertia is off. I'm a level one uh, standard account and no soft skills. Same. This is my, I recorded this today, level one, zero. So we're both underweight here. We do this test underweight and overweight. So this first test is just like getting up to a full sprint, getting up to a full sprint. Um, and then we do the same thing underweight, but with inertia. And there's a little bit of a delay, as you can see, to kind of like get up to that full sprint, just a quick second to get up there. It's not that noticeable when underweight, but as you'll see when you're overweight, it gets even more insane. So now we do kind of like running and jumping. I know that we knew going into it, that jumping would have an inertia effect on it. So that's the normal jumping. Then we flip it around and we've got underweight. Once again, you can see there's a, you land, you slow down and then you get back up to speed. So that's kind of really where it comes in. You can, we did test out, you can kind of bunny hop with inertia on where as soon as you land, you can jump, but it seems like your second jump is an even shorter one and shorter one. And you, you run out of stamina really, really, really fast. Uh, so you see, you jump, you land, you take a little bit of time. Now I'm back up to full speed. So the major difference there is just when you land, you slow down. And if you want to continue sprinting, it's going to take you a little bit of time. If you want to change directions and sprint another way or do something, it's going to take you a little bit of time. Um, now we kind of just do like side strafing. Uh, we go like relatively shallow direction changes. Uh, this is with inertia off. There's really nothing happening. And then we do really, really sharp, almost like 180 uh, directional changes. And then we do the same thing with inertia. Uh, you, it, you definitely, your movement is a little bit squished in. I don't make it as far to these turns. There, there's a definite slowdown when you're making these things. It doesn't feel too bad. Once again, without, especially this, I was worried that this, this could be overtuned a little bit when you're underweight. And then we do these real sharp 180s again, and you definitely slow down. Uh, and that's, that's basically the big thing is that it takes a little bit extra time. It's not much. It's not very brutal when you're underweight. Uh, and that's good. You don't want it to be too bad, but there's, it's, it kind of just like smooths out the edges in its current form. Uh, when you're doing these kind of like serpentine, uh, you're not just turning on a dime. It smooths the edges out, but it's not too brutal. It's not too bad. And then the one eighties, it's kind of the same thing. You can still one eighty around pretty quick but it's just going to take you, you know, one extra second when you do that. Um, <clears throat> and then we move on to, I believe the strafing. Okay. So this is what everybody, <laughs> this is what everybody is wondering. And this is pretty insane. Uh, the before and after. So this is with inertia off. This was my previous account. And this is me kind of spamming pretty quickly, not even as fast as I can, but pretty quickly around this corner. This is like you not smashing A and D as fast as you can, but this is what you would normally do to get information. Uh, and this is with inertia on. This is me spamming A and D as fast as I possibly can. I, you effectively stand still when you're doing that. And then we end up doing some of these wider movements and the, the inertia is insane around these corners. Boom. That's about as quickly as you can peek and gain information. You see that sidestep, you stop, you go to the edge of your peak. When you change directions, you almost come to a stop 
and then push back the other way. And it is pretty, it's pretty brutal. It's hard to get used to. Whether you love or hate this is totally up to you to decide. Run that back again, back and forth, back and forth, inertia off. Then we turn inertia on. And it's very, very intense. So then what I did is I went and with starter gear, made myself overweight. So at, with only 34 kilos, you are overweight. Um, and uh, with the new account, I was at 35 kilos. So these are effectively the, effectively the same amount of weight on characters that both still have level one stats. Um, and we kind of run through these tests again. So we can show you kind of similar things. We go the serpentine. As you can see, the previous weight didn't affect this kind of stuff that much. Your weight basically would just slow down your walking speed and your sprint speed, but it didn't have any effect on like your turning speed, uh, what happens after you jump and stuff like that. So now we contrast that with an overweight with inertia on, and this really squeezes that. You're, it, you, it almost feels like you're running in a straight line when you're trying to serpentine. You make it much less to the right and less to the left. Uh, the, the time between where you initiate your turn that the amount of time where you go from your full speed, you're slowing, and then returning to your full speed is much wider when you're overweight. It takes you much longer to make those turns. And even with these sharp, sharp 180 degree turns, uh, you're just really slow. So this whole thing is kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to see. It, you definitely feel it, but you know we're kind of doing the best that we can. Uh, same thing here with jumps, like we said. With inertia off, you can't really tell a difference. With inertia on, when you make those jumps, it's so much longer to return to a full sprint uh, after when you're heavy, especially. Inertia off, and I'm overweight. You're jumping. As soon as you hit the ground, you're back up. It's taking more of your stamina in the, in the old system, but you're just as quick, and now it takes you that much farther, that much harder to get back up to speed when you've got you're overweight and with inertia. Uh, we run just the straight sprint test to see how long it takes from get to a dead stop or a walking all the way up to full speed when you're heavy. Didn't really take any extra time, maybe a little bit before, but now once again, as you can see, it's pretty brutal. It takes you a long time and it even takes you an additional second to stop moving, to go from uh, just sprinting to even uh, zero. And then same thing, uh, inertia, when inertia was off and you were heavy, it didn't affect your ability to peak at all. This footage is basically identical. Even though I am overweight, this is almost identical as opposed to with inertia on and you're overweight and it's even slower. Once again, hard to see, easier to feel, but if you were wondering, it these peaks are wider, you take extra steps and it's, it's much, much slower to return. So once again, heavy and boom, it's pretty brutal. So ditching your bag, we've already seen that ditching your bag when you get into a firefight, if you're overweight is absolutely going to be the meta. Uh, it's just, these peaks are really, really wide and really, really slow. And then the last test I wanted to do, chat gave me the idea for it. I just wanted to be with inertia and overweight. How long it took when me sprinting to change directions. So I went from a full sprint and I just mashed S. I tried to go backwards and we went full sprint. You have to stop and then you start moving in the other direction. So completely 180ing directions uh, takes much more time. So that is it. Once again, this is definitely not a super duper comprehensive view. This is just kind of like your day one. I wanted to give a before and after. So I made sure I got this footage before it wiped. Uh, I'm going to do more videos, more guides on, you know, strategies to PVP with it, how strength affects it, um, how much stamina you lose, that kind of stuff. Once we know more information, but for people who can't hop into the wipe immediately are having trouble getting in or just are wanting to know more information about it and see it before and after, I wanted to, to get this. So definitely more stuff coming and hopefully you get out there, you get used to this and you start slaying out in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out the video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.